If you are considering moving to Elm from another technology like TypeScript or JavaScript, one objection you might have is that Elm is not as large an ecosystem as, say, JavaScript is. You might be concerned that if you adopt Elm, that you will have a hard time hiring developers who can work in Elm. And this is not a completely easy concern. There are less people who are experienced Elm developers than there are experienced JavaScript developers. However, turns out it's not as big a concern as you might think. Over at No Red Ink, where they have 100,000 lines or more of Elm in production, they've been able to hire people pretty easily, uh, according to things that Richard Feldman and others have said. Basically, they announce, hey, we're using Elm, and people approach them. The reason for that is simple. There are a lot of developers who might not know Elm, but have might have heard that it's an interesting thing and want to work with it. In addition, using a technology like Elm that's more advanced and sort of stands out makes you as an employer stand out as this is, and presents the image of, this is somewhere that I would like to work. I don't want to be doing job, you know, similar things to what you said of Erlang or Elixir or some other or Go or some other technologies that a certain type of developer might be attracted to working for you simply based on the, te the technology you're using because they're tired of whatever they had been using. So what seems like it could be a liability for a language like Elm in some ways could actually be a major benefit because you are inverting the process. You are putting out a big flag that says, interesting people work here. Wouldn't you like to join us? And that can be a great asset in recruiting. And if you do want to get your team up to speed with Elm faster, I provide coaching services and training services in Elm. Please drop me an email and I will, I'm happy to talk to you about it.